Hello everybody. My name is Patrick Gideon. I'm a psychologist from Slovakia and in today's video I want to talk about superpowers. Well first of all, what are superpowers? Most of us think of superpowers from comic books where the superheroes have an ability that's making them uh, different from everybody else and that's given them certain abilities to do things that are amazing, that are miraculous, right? Um, well, let's talk about psychology first. One of my abilities uh, that I learned uh, while doing psychology and being interested in psychology is reading expressions and faces. Uh, what this means is that I'm able to carefully watch emotions on humans' faces and see micro expressions that are very short and most of us are not able to really see these emotions. So when it comes to a conversation uh, with a client, for example, I can clearly see uh, if he's having an emotion that he's trying to suppress or that he doesn't really want to show me. And I can see this by carefully uh, watching the human face or the facial contractions. So in some way, this gives me the ability to see things that normal people, if they don't really study this specific uh, type of psychology, um, well, they won't see it. So, would I say it is a superpower? I guess yes, because um, often with my clients, it gives me a certain advantage to see whether the human is really telling me the truth or not. Next, I want to talk about superhuman strength. Well, the biggest deadlift uh, done so far is the record uh, is 500 kilograms, which means that a man is able to lift up 500 kilograms, which is almost half a ton. This is incredible, right? Most of us are not able to do something like that. So this might be considered as a superpower. Next, let's talk about the ability to again see something that other people might not be able to see. Um, I have a few patients who are able to see auras around humans which means that they see a specific wave form or light that's, or, or maybe we could say it's an energy which all of us are sending uh, throughout our existence and it's changing. And some people, it's not quite known like why these people have the ability to do that and why others can't do that. But they're able to see uh, the light that's all around you, the energy that's all around you, and they are able to recognize this energy as being good or bad, uh, negative, positive, and how this energy influences you in your personal life. Okay, so these were three things that people are already capable of doing uh, just by having a certain ability that others don't have. So my answer to the question whether people have uh, superpowers is yes, but it depends on the point of view. Now this doesn't make them better as human beings and personalities. This just makes them better in a certain way. Now let's go to psychoanalysis again and to a Freud reference because what Freud did 
was that he cured uh, a specific disorder, a neurotic disorder in most of his patients that wasn't caused by bodily dysfunctions. It was caused by emotions being strangled up and emotions not being able to filter themselves out through uh, consciousness. So they were uh, stuck in the unconsciousness and it made people sick. And just by talking to people, Freud was able to heal them, right? Can you imagine people before Freud, they had all types of neurotic disorders and nobody knew how to cure these things. And Freud came there and started talking to people. People got healed. A miracle, right? A superpower. So again, everybody is able to have superpowers. The question is, are you willing to do everything to find your superpower and to train the superpower? Well, that's up to you. And again, we will go back to awareness and to the energy that is flowing inside of us and that's all around us because this is how superpowers work. You catch a certain type of energy and you work on it. You work hard, for example, playing uh, piano, uh, playing a guitar. If you want to do this really fast and good, you have to train it, right? So if there is, for example, a really good guitar or piano player, well, it might seem like a superpower to the rest of the people who are not able to play this instrument as well. Okay, um, the last superpower I want to talk about is the ability to predict certain things. And this is very close, or maybe it is actually our intuition. Think of certain things in your life that don't really make too much sense, but in the end, if you watch them closely enough, you can always find a certain purpose or a certain type of mechanism that is behind those things. Small things that happen to you in your life, for example, dropping your keys. Like to a normal human being, this might be considered as you being um, clumsy and not being able to hold on to your keys. But maybe if you think about it, maybe it is a sign that you forgot something. Maybe it is a sign of that you're not supposed to go somewhere. So in this way, if anything happens to you, anybody says anything to you, that your intuition in the instant, it's tracking it. It's like, okay, this thing is a little bit different. It's not according to my everyday uh, flow. And this is somehow different than everything else. Well, this might be considered as an opportunity for you to read this specific thing and find the real meaning behind it. So as I said before, the keys, for example, if you drop them, well, think about it. It might be that you forgot about something. And in this way, you might predict things like, for example, I'm supposed to do something or uh, I'm supposed to be somewhere and I'm still still not where I'm supposed to be. And life is going to give you a certain hints. It's the same way uh, that people are now trying to figure out um, that this world is not really what it seems to be and that we are only living in a computer created uh, program 
like matrix and that everything is basically somehow artificially created which is almost crazy but if this were true this will give us more and more opportunities to recreate the world as it is today and to shape a future generation that will not only have superpowers but will be fully aware of their superpowers and will be able to use it. So what do you think about it? Do you think it's real or is it just uh, a thing that people are trying to uh, create in order for them to be special? Let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, that's it for today. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!